Mistress Touch. It's a little smoother texture than some of the other brands, and it's cheaper, believe it or not. So it's my favorite brand. So this is like a sky blue. This is a cerulean blue. That's the phthalo blue. I like to mix that with some burnt umber when we get to some of the shoreline and some of the darker colors if you're going to make a wave. And then I've got um, yellow ochre and yellow for now. And then when we get to the foreground, I've got some greens we can pop into. <coughs> so for the top part, I don't know how many people paint a lot or not, but we usually start with a darker blue on the very top and then work our way down. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna work on doing the blue first, going all the way down to the light blue to where the tape line is. And then we're gonna go back in and add a couple of our sky with the clouds. clouds. Yeah, there you go. So sky blue is the very first blue that's on your little palette. So um, that's a really dark blue. So I'm going to take just a little bit of my white and a little bit of the blue. And I never, it's kind of like using a spatula for paint for working on your uh, decorating a cake. So I never use this side of the knife only the bottom side because you don't want to waste paint and you tend to waste paint if you do that so you want to make it a decent color here you like mixing it up in there i love mixing colors it's one of my favorite favorite things to do and i learned this too also from the teachers that i've taken that are so amazing so then i'm going to use i'm going to get a little bit lighter blue going i like having two colors on my palette ready and then once you get it I wait <laughs> I go way too fast no but you you like the dark on the top yep so this is what I'll do then it's start up here don't be afraid it's kind of like doing a spackle just get a nice even line up on the top and then I already grabbed some of the white the lighter color but that's okay and for those of you that have the these guys just make yeah just make sure you hold it because it's not as steady you use a lot more paint than you do palette Night. Yeah, a lot more. But you can scrape and blend. I tend to be a real meticulous artist, and that's what I loved about palette knife is it, it really did force me to loosen up a little bit. Because I can be stiff. As my husband tells me, loosen up, honey, loosen up. Mm -hmm. And then I use it just like I'm smoothing out of icing on a cake. And then you can start adding your lighter blue as you move down on the canvas.
starting to get cold. Yeah, see? Me too, I made a mess. That's, That's cool. Cool. 